Joe Biden goes to church so regularly that he doesn't even need tear gas and a bunch of federalized troops to help him get there. When Donald Trump spoke at his inauguration about American carnage, I assumed that was something he was against, not a campaign promise. Right now, you can text VOTE to 30330 to learn about all of your voting options and make the best plan for how to vote in your community, wherever you are. An easy way to remember 30330 is that's the year Donald Trump will finally release his tax returns. 30330, it's actually not that hard to remember. Watch. Person, woman, man, camera, TV, 30330. Anyone can do it. 30330, that would be the president's golf score if he didn't cheat. Okay, look, I'll admit that was a little nasty, but we all know he's a cheater. And I'm proud to be a nasty, nasty woman. These last few nights have been going so well, we decided to add a fifth night where we will just play Michelle Obama's speech on a loop. Tonight, I couldn't be prouder to be a loyal union member, a passionate climate activist, and a patriotic Democrat, or as Donald Trump will call me in a tweet tomorrow, a washed up horse face no talent has been with low ratings. Well, with all due respect, sir, it takes one to know one. If we all vote, there is nothing Facebook, Fox News, and Vladimir Putin can do to stop us. Joe Biden shares John Lewis's belief that every vote matters. Personally, I plan to follow the example of six current cabinet members, Vice President Poontz and President Trump himself, and vote by mail. I first met Joe Biden when I was doing my show Veep. I played the vice president, and he was, in fact, the vice president, and we hit it off immediately. Soon after, I was asked to be on the cover of a magazine. Remember those? And I was so excited. It was like, oh, what's it gonna be? People or Vogue or Rolling Stone? Well, it turns out it was for Arrive, the official onboard magazine of Amtrak, which nobody ever reads, even though it's free. And the day it came out, my phone rang, and it was the vice president telling me he loved the cover and the whole article and that it was one of the best issues of Arrive he had ever read. And that is just one of the many reasons that I wanted to be here tonight for Joe. And to remind you that Joe Biden not only knows how to read, but also he reads everything. A couple of years ago, I was diagnosed with cancer and I was absolutely terrified. One of the first people who called me was Joe. His real warmth and kindness on that call, man, I gotta say, it made me cry. Our current president has made me cry too, but it's never had anything to do with his warmth or kindness. Joe Biden's empathy is genuine. You can feel it. That's why President Obama asked Joe to head up the cancer moonshot. President Obama knows what we all know. Joe Biden understands suffering and loss and sacrifice. This year, we're gonna elect a president who's honest, experienced, and intelligent. A president who actually believes in the rule of law, who will restore dignity and normalcy to the White House and the soul of this nation. And boy, won't that be something.